Hello. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to give it a couple minutes here to let some people get on. And... Uh, I'm going to start, as always, um, let us know uh, who you are and where you're watching from. It's always lots of fun. Um, I didn't say I'm Jameson, and this is I'm at Junk Teak here in Amarillo this week. It's our Saturday night. I think most of you uh, who watch us frequently realize that, hey, they're in Amarillo. They're probably going to do something. And that's what we're here for. So, uh, I'm still going to wait a couple more minutes. Let some more people catch up with us. It's weird. I'm usually wearing a hat. <laughs> Hello. Just waiting a couple minutes for people to catch on. Then we're going to do our color wash video for everybody. Maybe a few extras. There will be a lot of extras. <laughs> there are a lot of extras. We might have a lot planned. <laughs> I'm excited though. It's fun. We're good. We're good. We still... Okay, here comes Shane, and I have not even showed the piece or anything. Oh, hello. Yeah. Kind of turned it on me. I wasn't ready. Oh, sorry. So this is what we're doing. Um, it's a beautiful little buffet that I painted in Aubusson blue. Walk um, around its back. I clear waxed it. I black waxed it in areas. I gold gilding waxed the handles. But I'm not gonna lie to you, like I'm just not, it's pretty, but I'm not like, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, about it, you know what I mean? So, today we're going to be adding all kinds of extra stuff, if I can find it. <laughs> so everything you see on this table here, we're going to be using and kneading. Um, color washing, you don't have to use these, but I like to use gloves. Uh, because Annie Sloan's paint is very, very pigmented. Um, you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to paint, and that's the big deal with Annie Sloan, is that it's very pigmented, um, and I don't want to dye my hands black. So yeah. what we're going to be doing is we're going to be color washing all the back of this with black, and then we're going to flip this stuff. I'm going to have the camera, and Jameson is going to take you on a stamping tour again, <laughs> like we did last week, but a little more fun and a little more creative this time um, with all of these colors plus colors he mixes with by mixing you know making a purple by mixing the burgundy and the blue and all that fun stuff so lots of colors and again for the stamping we're going to be reusing this um, iod bohemia stamp um, as always please leave us comments and let us know where you're watching from me and jameson like to look later on and say, oh, this is neat. This person was in Nashville, or this person was in Georgia, or Canada, or Yugoslavia. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think so. Okay, cool. I think um, it's a place. Anyway, so yes, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from, and let's... I forgot I forgot to grab your shop towels. Oh, I have this rag. Oh, rag, right, good. I'm prepared. Okay, <laughs> so, color washing. I also really suggest you have a... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm decked out like I'm about to stain something, and it's really not that big of a deal. It's just we have to work the store tomorrow, and I don't want stained hands. Um, I like to use a bucket and a rag. A lot of people like to use baby wipes and this and that, but, I mean, I already own the rag. I already own the bucket, and I already paid for the water, so I'm just going to use that. Um, and then we've got an assortment of brushes here. We have the Annie Sloan Medium Round. This is probably my favorite go-to, uh, but I've also got the Annie Sloan Small Flat. If I want to stab it into corners or drag some lines, do some fun stuff. Um, I ran out of my tin openers, and we have one that we keep here, <laughs> which is usually attached to this. And I had a customer in today, and she was so excited. She's about to paint the world, and I didn't have any tin openers to give for her. And I always usually here at Jump Teak, we like to give you the tin opener with your first purchase. They're five bucks after that if you lose them. But I didn't have any, so I gave her mine. So 
we will be using our old school handy dandy flathead. Just know if you use a flathead on these tins, remember that they're not um, standard US tins. They don't have that inner lip that the lid actually sits on, which is so great because it, you don't have to worry about paint getting in there then, then the lid not sealing like you do on other cans. But when you're using the flathead, you want to take your time, insert it, pry it up, turn the can. Let's see. Insert it, pry it up, turn the can. Insert it, pry it up, turn the can. You want to take your time. And you want to do it carefully. This is really good paint. So she's she's made some really good lips. It's not a random old lip. And then we open that up. And boom, 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 boom. And you know what? I don't know if I'm even going to need it, but I like to be prepared. At one point in time in my life, I was a Boy Scout, so. <laughs> I don't have an Annie Soul Mix Mat. Again, they are on, on order. They will be here next week. I do have a, a two of them in the Clovis store, uh, but I don't have any here. So we ran across the street and was looking for paper plates or something, and we didn't find paper plates, but we found wax paper. It's cheap wax paper. There's not even a razor cut it. <laughs> really? Oh, there, oh, there it is. Ah-ha. Ta-da. So, that's going to be what I'm going to, like, offload things on and whatnot. And I will say, this is really kind of foreign to me because I'm not in my element. You know, in the Clovis store, we have uh, the workroom, which has got everything you could possibly need. It's got spray bottles and this, and it's got everything. Here, this is our little makeshift workroom. Um, yeah. And... Use what we have. So, I'm going to color wash this with Annie Sloan Athenian Black. Um, I like to wax. I like to color wax wash over wax. You do not have to. Um, I prefer it because with that wax on there, you have a little bit more control than you do without. Um, if you don't have wax on there, you need to make sure it's really dry and you work in small sections and you do it fast. Whereas when it's waxed, you just have a, quite a bit more leeway. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to use this brush to start off with. Can you see good? Yeah. Is that better? When you start out going, I'll really get up in there. Because I'm, 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 I'm a big boy. I don't want to, I want to sit in this chair here. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pre-dunk my brush. Get some water on there. And that cloth is already wet or damp. It's not dripping wet. And I don't want this brush oozing everywhere either. And I'm just gonna get some black. I'm gonna start off with a very little bit. Okay. And let's see what happens here. Now, I'm going to stress a million, you see how that beads up like that with the water? It's because you're doing it over wax. I'm going to stress there is more than one way to, what's that, what's what that? What is it? What is the? Milk a cow? I want to say skin a pony, but no, that's not what it is. No, you don't skin, you don't, <laughs> no, you don't. You don't skin pony. Uh, there's we more than not, one way to. Yeah, we do not condone the skinning of ponies. No, we don't. Um, there's a saying. Someone will, someone message it to us. Tell yeah, us what it is. Yeah, Y'all know what we're talking cat. about. I think skin it's a skin cat, a cat. Hang a cat. But why would you want to skin a cat? For the same reason you want to skin a pony. I don't know. I think it's skin a cat. <laughs> I do <did> too. <laughs> Randomness. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of shadowing these this. areas. I'm trying to show you guys how it how it's beating up because it's been waxed. And I just got some more paint. Melinda said more than one way to ride a bull. There we go. I don't think I've heard that one. I swear it's skinny cat. <laughs> Please someone let us know if that's correct. Is that a thing? Have you ever heard someone say there's more than one way to skin a cat? And if so, why would you want to skin a cat? So, back to this. Sorry, we're being okay. silly. It's, it's whatever. It's been a long day. It's like 9 o'clock in Texas here. Um, so I've applied my, my wash. Now, I'm, now I've got my rag. And I like to fold it into fours so it's flat. And I'm just going to come back and wash that off. Kind of try and blend that bit in. Wash it off. And it'll make, I mean, it'll make whatever look you want. It'll make kind of like a glazed look, if that's what you're going for. It'll just give it some dimension. 
That's what I wanted. Melinda, yeah. Melinda said yes, it's a thing, but more humane to write a bull. But what? But it's more humane to write a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this wonky floor. Right. The wonky floor, and in Clovis, Shane has a rolling chair. So I do notice him trying to roll himself. Yeah. Quite a bit. It doesn't work. <laughs> so, this was just straight paint. I didn't even water that down. Like I said, there's more than one way to do this. Some people like to really water it down. Some people don't. After my side over here, I've kind of decided I kind of like the effect a little better straight on. And that's the fun part of this. Like, you don't have to do it this way. You don't have to do it that way. Like, this is something to enjoy. This is a creative outlet. Have fun with it. Don't follow the rules. Live wild. Experiment. Play with different things. Dalton said pretty, and Melinda said that she loves that look. I like it too. I've always like, been a fan of do heavy things, distress. Like, you see how that made kind of like, almost like a, like a, a frittage look? For, frittage, am I saying that right? Frottage? 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 That was always, I always like, said I'm it, frottage. padding and it's leaving all of that, but I don't want it, so. I'm gonna leave that, because I do want some dark. I want my dark at the top. Now I've got it on my on my cloth and I want it more. Ooh, I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this, kinda go over the whole thing. So you're just using the excess paint that you've already wiped up. Yep. Putting it back on. Like I said, this is some really pigmented stuff. And then, I mean, the thing is, is like, let's say you do that and you're like, oh no, I wish it was much lighter. Rinse off your cloth. That's why you have the bucket of water. <coughs> and if you wax, for the most part, like I said, it's very workable. You can change it. So I, if it's too dark, you could just keep wiping and keep wiping and keep wiping until it was gone, in theory. I do like that contrast. <laughs> that black looks good on the Athenian. The Athenian looks good on the Obison. That's what I'm trying to say. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Very dramatic. Yeah. I wanted. Like I said, it was a pretty piece, but it was boring. And I wanted something a little more dramatic, which I feel like I have done. So I've created this like shadow, created the shadow here and here. Yes, a lot of dimension. Any questions so far? Uh, Kim just asked uh, which stamps we we're going to use. Kim, we're going to be using the same ones we used last week, but Jameson is doing something completely different. Completely different with them. So definitely, it, I would watch it. And I have to say, the response on the stamps from last week was... Nuts. Was nuts. In fact, that piece that we halfway stamped, it sold as it was. <laughs> people, people really like that stamp. I said I wanted, I wanted it kind of really quite strong, which is why I'm not sitting here rinsing out my cloth. I don't want to take the pigment off my cloth because I'm working with it. You know what I mean? Right. You're more like blending it out as opposed to wiping it off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's hard because it's wet. 
has a bit of a shine, so it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but it looks good. Once it dries, you can really see it. I want, I just, we're going to be going insanely boho with this piece. So I want this like grungy old, almost, almost like industrial, not going to lie. That's kind of what's in my brain. And again, I want this stronger. So I'm taking this. And color washing. So if you don't know, you should never wax something that you plan on using outdoors. Um, but if you want that look, you know, that aged, antique, gorgeous, old look, uh, and it's going to be outside, I would suggest color washing. Because you can get a very, very similar look without using the wax. Just remember, if you don't, if you don't um, wax beforehand, you need to make sure the bottom coat is really dry. Uh, and what else was I going to say? That you work in small sections at a time. You could also like lacquer it because you can use lacquer outdoors. So you could paint it, lacquer it, then come back and wash it. Uh, Melinda's asking why you can't whack something outdoors. Um, it's just not, it's, it's not rated or meant for things that are outdoors. It'll get hot, it'll cause issues. Um, it won't, it, it won't really protect. Like the wax becomes one with the paint, but when it gets insanely hot, like it does, I don't know how hot Mansfield gets, but Clovis, Clovis was like 103 the other day. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> um, it, it, it's just not good. It's not meant for outdoors. Right, at the end of the day, it is wax. Crazy 107 heat is an enemy. But, like I said, there are, there is a lacquer. That's honestly better for outdoor use anyway because it has uh, UV blockers in it. It'll stop your colors from, uh, the sun from bleaching out your colors. Yeah, and we did the front door, what, three years ago? Didn't yeah, wax it, didn't you, seal it. And you don't have to seal things that you paint with chalk paint outside. I will, if we're going down that road. Um, like, I did my front door like three or four years ago, didn't seal it, and it looks like I just did it yesterday. Um, it, once you give it an adequate time to, to really set, I mean, it's, it bonds. Like, it bonds better than most primers do. That's why it's such a great thing. That's one of the reasons why it's such a great thing. So, you don't have to seal something that's going to be used outdoors. Um, especially if it's going to be in the sun and it's dry and it's hot. Like, the sun will cook it to whatever you're trying to put that on. Ooh, yuck. Melinda said she had that hot... She, we got that hot with 80% humidity. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what the humidity is here, but it feels it's insane. insane. It's too much. And you're saying 80. It's probably like 50% maybe. <laughs> We're dying. So all I'm doing is going through and framing out the leg, trying to create a shadow so that the leg is looking a little more pronounced, you know? Do you have any rules or tips on shadowing legs? No. No? Just what looks nice? It just looked in my brain. I don't know how to like elo el eloquently explain that. No, it makes sense. I would say to me it would be similar, very similar to makeup. You're not going to shadow the middle of your face. You know what I mean? Right. Unless you're doing contour and you're trying to like make that shape. It's kind of what I did here. Like right. I wanted... I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't made, know how to explain You that. made dimension where there wasn't dimension? Yeah, like I tried to say this. Like I can't explain that eloquently. Just here and there. And like there's another reason. Like no way is the right way. You know what I mean? It's right. all what you want to do. If you want to do that in the middle, do it in the middle. If that's what you want, do it. 
It may be the most pretty thing ever, and it may start a whole new style. You never know. Right. Well, down to the floor. Kim said it was 90% humidity this morning. Kim. It was pretty gross. Which Kim is this? My Aunt Kim. Oh, it was Kim. Kim, 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 Kim. Kim, Kim, Kim. Yeah. <coughs> I believe it. It was gross when we left this morning to come to Amarillo. It was. I went outside and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> You're scared you're going to drown just breathing outside. So again, I'm just following the curve of this leg. Oh, it's I'm head. This side. I'm trying, I'm trying. Following that curve. Um, because I want it to be a little more pronounced. Come through. And I want that strong, so all I'm doing is padding. Right. I want that curve. Yes, it looks very good. <laughs> we agree, Kim. We do everything gold. Kim said, needs gold. The front of it's got some gold. I was thinking about doing it copper. Tell me your thoughts, Kim. <laughs> yes, Kim, what do you think about copper? And again, I want the edges of these stronger. So right now, honestly, I'm not even color washing. I'm kind of more like dry brushing. Can we push that? Uh, Kim did a thumbs up. And Jocelyn said, Rosie says hi. She's on my lap watching. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Kim said that's a good choice. So again, I've got a little bit of black paint on my brush, and I'm going against the wood this way so it only catches on the edge. I think this looks way more interesting than it did before. I agree. Way more interesting. I like it. It's like smoky is how I want to explain it. But yes, a lot of character. Okay, let's move on to the side. Oh, oh, oh. I'm ditching the chair. It doesn't roll, I give up. <laughs> okay, so same thing. And I've, I, I personally have learned that with this piece, with what look I'm going for, I don't, I don't want to add the water because I want it to be a stronger effect. But here, I'll do this really heavy so you guys can see. So I've applied my paint, I've got my damp cloth. Now normally you would wipe it off, but I want it stronger. So I am going to sit here and just blot. Blot, 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 blot. Have you, uh, have you rinsed out your rag at all? Nope. I have not. And I, I am lightly scraping it to kind of try and blend away those brush lines. If I need a clean section, if I want to take off some of that paint, you see that? Yeah. I just use a clean section of my cloth, and then I'm like, oh no, that was too much. Come back with the side that's got some paint on it. Blend it out. Again, I don't want these lines. I don't want it to look like it was painted. Even though all y'all now see that it is painted, but still. <laughs> Secrets out. This might be one of my new favorite combos. I love the look of this black over this blue. Oh, I agree. I absolutely agree. 
you don't think about it being that crazy of a combination, but it's, it is. And again, I want this, I want this to be a little stronger, so I'm taking my brush, adding a little bit more paint. Now you really see that. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's not just black. You really see the break. It's kind of like adding a belt to a dress, like what is, I'm thinking, or like, uh, whatever, the so one, I don't know. You're making that break in the right. middle. Again, I'm just taking my brush. I'm gonna bring that all the way up. Shadow that. Make sure I get all of that real nice and good. And locked. I really, now I'm not gonna lie, this was not the plan, this is just what happened. But I, knowing this, I should have called this something else. Well, there was a... Because we are color washing, but I'm not gonna lie, a lot of this is blotting. <laughs> you, called, you color washed at the beginning. And then, then you got inspired. Yeah, I only want a little bit of paint. A little bit goes a long way. Right. Okay. Now we're going to take that. A little bit more of this. I'll draw the brush. Teeny, oh, that was way too much. Yeah. Work with that little teeny bit of water. Turn that down, blend it out. Add some more black because I want that stronger. Add some more black because I want that stronger. Bring it down. Get the dirty side of my cloth here. Blot and blend. Blot and blend. Taking off those really sharp edges, pulling that out, softening the edges. Wow. What? It looks good. Very, uh. Can you see it on camera? Yes, absolutely. Like I said, the part you just did. Because it's wet, not as good, like the back, absolutely, the side on the other side you did, yes. All right, now taking this, again, with the same thing, I want to shadow these legs, which to me is kind of creating a highlight on the flat parts, right. but the shadow is going to make you really realize that these are cabriole legs, or uh, Queen Anne style legs. Uh, to me, they're cabriole. To most people, they're Queen Anne style. Um, Taking that down right on the curve, following the little paw foot all the way around, making sure that my grooves and recesses are really grungy. I don't want most of that off, so I'm just going to lightly tap. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Right on my foot. <laughs> tap, 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 because <laughs> I'm kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again. I'm adding paint. Grunging up where it would have been bashed and rubbed against. Getting it in my creases. Going up on the corner. Again, if this had been a 
100 years old or however long, and it had gone from house to house. It was in a dining room, and Uncle Tom was brushing past it, and, and Sally was in the way. I'm just going off on a tangent. Right. They would have hit the edges. <laughs> over, and over, and over and over and over and over and over again. That was my point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, now I'm going to come back. I'm going to block me some of this. Again, softening out the edges, softening out the edges of that. Well, in this said y'all should create a series, series of how-to videos. I would love to, if I had the time. I don't know how many people would watch them though, we get kind of silly sometimes. Do you know who's really good at making videos? Bond. Bond. Like, if I could, I would pay Bond to make videos. She does well. well. Look at that. Look how like dimensional and beautiful that is. That is so much yeah. prettier than it was before. Like I told you, I painted it. And I'm one to tell you, like, that is ten times prettier yes. than it was before. It is so much prettier than it was before. And I really am focusing now on all the different pieces. I'm focusing on this corner piece, this corner piece, this trim, this leg, this leg. It's all shadowed out. It's beautiful. Right. Like, that's the fun thing with Annie Sloan. Like, you can just keep going and going. And then you want to know what? You live with this thing for a month or two or ten years. And you're like, you know what? I really should have, I really should have a red bu server or buffet in my dining room. Then you go straight over it with Annie's with Emperor Silk, Burgundy, Primer Red. You can change it up, or green, or white, or gray, or black. It doesn't matter. You can go right over it. It's never the end unless you absolutely want it to be the end. Um, now I'm thinking, like, we really didn't think out this video. Should I do more of this so that it's done so you can do your stamps over it? Or should you just stamp it and then I should do over that? What would you prefer, Jameson? I would prefer to stamp over what you do. On the road again. Okay, so. I brought that. And I brought that screwdriver. So that hardware, and I never took it off. I. Again, around the hinges and stuff. We really should turn this real quick. You can't see. No, it's dark. much better okay much so, better. like I was saying around the hinges that's something that would have built up grease and grime over the years I like edges I like to frame things out as you can see from the other pit from the other piece take my blotter plop, 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 plop. So when would you choose to do a color wash like this versus a, like a black wax? You asked me a hard question. <laughs> Did you ask me that or someone else? I asked ask you that question. You're not supposed to ask me complicated. <laughs> um, honestly, I would say it would be personal preference, really. Um, I know a lot of people are scared of colored waxes for some reason. You shouldn't be. Like, as long as you clear wax it good first, you're golden. If you don't like it, take more clear wax, take it off. Like, if you could... One thing that irritates me is like, oh my gosh, like, I like glazes. I don't know how to do the waxes. It's easy. You clear... It's much easier than glazing. It's much less messier than glazing. And it seals 
and antiques it, like, all in one, like, I don't know. But like I said, this personal preference, more power to you. I like waxes, um, but sometimes I feel like a color wash. Um, there's a few pieces where I have literally color washed multiple colors. Like I've painted something French linen, and then I've done a color wash of white. And then when that was done, I did a color wash of uh, graphite. Um, and then I clear waxed it, and then I wanted a little bit more. So then I turned around and color washed it, or waxed it with black or brown wax. It just layers upon layers, and that was a really beautiful piece. It is always my favorite. Again, I'm taking my paint, I'm getting that groove, coming back with my cloth, and washing it off. Washing it off slash blending it out. Smoothing out the lines. See, so when you want something soft and subtle, this, this dabbing, this blending, is the best way to do it, I, I have found. You don't have lines, it just kind of goes from one to the next. Like my brain, as you see, I was down there. <laughs> also be at the top. Now I've stopped and now I'm uh, over here. It's just how I work. Yes, it's very, it's very art artistic, artistic mindset. I say it's ADD. <laughs> that, that's the artistic way. Okay, like I said, I have framed that out. Now let me come through. Blot, 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 blot. I want this stronger, so I'm taking more paint. And this shouldn't be scary, because like I said, you know what? If I absolutely hated that, I could rinse out my cloth and just wipe it. And I could wipe that all right back off. Easy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Um, this is pretty blah. I mean, you can see where I honestly tried to get this look with the wax, but I just wasn't really feeling it. So I'm kind of going in the same places as the wax. It's just much more dramatic. Yeah. Ooh, I got a lot of paint there. Uh, Melinda asked if after you wash, do you wax again? Yes. So that had lots of e yeah. because it really kind of depends. If I'm doing a really, really light wash, to be honest, sometimes I don't. If I'm doing a really light wash um, on something that's really not going to get much actual use, you know what I mean, um, or wear and tear, I, sometimes I don't worry about it. If I'm doing a heavy one, then more than likely I will go through and clear wax it again once I'm done, just to seal up what I've just put on. You like this random dark patch? Yes. It's like dark patch in the back. I like it. One tip I'll give you, if you are finding that when you're wiping off the excess it's not strong enough, let it sit for a little bit longer. Like if I wanted that to be much more pronounced, I could just let it sit longer and the paint will start to kind of bond to that wax and it'll be good.
But you see what I don't like? I don't like these lines. To me, that looks like it's painted. Right. So I'm gonna take my a clean section of my cloth if I can find one. And look, well, it's it's wet. You can't see it, but I've taken it all off. Right. You can see it pretty well. Can you? Yeah. The color washing is fun to me, especially when you start going crazy and you start adding like all kinds of colors. Right. As long as, like, like you said, as long as you wax before you do it, you have nothing to be scared of. I don't want that so thick. It is. That is happening. <laughs> it was meant to be. Now we've got to come through and add some color to these. For those of you who've uh, watched a lot and seen chain wax, it's same areas, same places. It would naturally get gunky and grody and dirty. The underside of handles are going to have hands reaching at them, clean, dirty. So naturally it's going to be dirtier. The edges of drawers, people just grab it and pull it open. Those are going to be naturally dirty, pushing it closed. by San Antonio. Yeah, it's probably crazy humid there. I don't know why that just randomly popped in my head, but ding, ding, I've been ding, San Antonio ding. quite a few times, and it's... it's Riverwalk? Oh, yeah. Ugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, we're over here complaining, and you're like, you don't even know. Right. <laughs> okay, so, ta-da! Is that, do you think that's strong enough, or you want it stronger? No, I think we're good. Um, like I said, I'm only planning on doing the door front, so... If it needs more behind it later, we can put it back there, but I think it looks nice. Now I have very, very little on my brush. So what I'm doing is I'm going through, and this is, this is essentially called dry brushing. I'm going through and I'm catching those high bits in the paint like the brush strokes and the texture that I created with the paint when I was painting it, I'm catching that bit with the very end of the bristles that have very little paint on there. But I don't like this line again on the edge, so you come through and blend that. And here's, where else has got texture? Here's, here is texture. Let's catch it. If you can't catch it, I'm trying. Keep focusing on your brushing in the door. The brushing the door. Sorry, y'all. We're trying. Melinda said she's four hours north. Four hours north of San Antonio? Yeah. Curve down. And there we go. Blotting it down. 
Now, I am done. That is enough color washing, blotting, whatever you want to call it. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I can't stress enough. My mustache is driving me crazy. I can't stress. See, but see, this is why I like to wear gloves. Um, and it would have been even worse if I was uh, doing it in larger areas or I was doing it lighter and I was wringing out my cloth. Um, like I said, uh, actual chalk paint, any Sloan stuff is insanely pigmented. So, I mean, you put a drop of this in, in that bucket of water and it's going to turn the entire bucket black like ink. So, when I do color washes, I like to wear gloves just so it, because it, I mean, it'll get all up into your cuticles and the sides of your nails. For days. For a while, yeah. yeah. There we go. Did you hear that? Like, mm -hmm. that means it's sealed. <laughs> Good thing about these new lids. Oh my gosh, I hated the old lids. So, on that note, I am taking these off. I'm going to push this buffet around. Like I said, in our little makeshift studio. Help, help you grab it. Studio workroom thingy pop. And Jameson is going to go to town. Here we go. Show me the colors you're using. Okay, so I have a uh, burgundy, I have aurels, I have furl, I have original. We're going to pull over some uh, Amsterdam green as well as some. Abasan. Um So this like super over the top bright color for colorful bohemian thing is like all the craze right now. So I'm going to attempt to do it with these stamps, and I'm gonna do it on the door fronts and try to make it super crazy and dramatic. I'm gonna hand this over to Shane so I can start taking stuff up while I'm talking. Um, but yeah, I'm just like wanting like full all over pattern color, like really, 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 really over the top. We're back. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oops. Um. Well, oh, there it goes. Hey, I just got a severe thunderstorm warning for New Mexico. Really? It explains why it's so insanely like humid. Oh, I've already talked about that. We can't say that to. <laughs> we can't say that if Melinda's you watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a little more paper. I'm a little more messy than Shane is. A little. And I'm also going to be rolling on this and doing all kinds of all kinds of craziness. Again, for those of you who didn't see our last uh, video last weekend, this is the Bohemia stamp. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically nine uh, different stamps that you can use. We're going big, so we're using all of them. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, okay, so the wash, I mean, it's pretty much dry. It dries fast. Like, chalk paint dries fast on its own. And I put it on, like, so thin. I just kind of used the pigment for shading. And, you know, I was blotting and blending it out after the very first big flat piece. I didn't really use much water or anything to thin it out. So, whoa, yeah, you make a huge mess. Y'all are missing the fun. So you, it's you dry. Just you just keep talking. Oh, you just drip some on the floor. Yeah, you keep talking. You're going to sit here and just really watch a video of me dripping paint? <laughs> well, yeah, that's like real life. It happens. It happens. Um, yeah, that, that lip was not on there very well. Oh, well. What happened there? You need to stir that up, shake it. Yeah. Okay, we're turning back to you now. On me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were on me this whole time. No, you told me to turn it. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I might have exploded a little bit. It happens. Just make sure I'll, I'll have to just make sure that before that dries that I take it and then wash it off real good. Wash the rim out, yeah. Wash the rim out so it doesn't cause issues on the line. So this, it looks really yellow on camera, but it's not. Let me see if I move around. It's very, very limey green. It's called Furl. And that is um, Aural. It's like a goldeny yellow. You 
You know what? I'm going to unplug this thing. I noticed on our last video that the sound of this water was intense. I noticed too, and I was I, I kind of wondered why no one has ever said anything. Because there was music playing. I was watching it back, and there was music playing. I'm like, you can't even tell what's playing because <laughs> the it's so loud. And we usually we're usually pretty good about not playing music because uh, um, Facebook likes to mute your whole video if they hear sound. So we try not to. Oh, those three colors together is beautiful. And then you take away this one. Hold on. Take away the green. Bye bye green. And guess what? You got Harry Potter. <laughs> Straight I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna put a little original. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna start with these four. Well, go to town. Let's see where it takes me. I'm excited for this. What do all these other buttons do? Oh lord. I turn into a mouse or something. It's pushing so they're pushing buttons. Hey, no, it's like telling me to feature products. Okay, I'm going to feature... How about... Arl. How do we feature original? By any slow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me see if I can do that. Let's just, let's do that again. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. How old do you have to be to where you no longer need to recite the alphabet I, to find the letter? I'm hoping that somebody says that there's no age, because... I'm afraid it's going to be a lifetime thing for me. Kim says it's very intense. Makes me need to go. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's intense? These beautiful bohemian, oh. I'm assuming, I'm colors. Come on, Kim. <laughs> Live wildly. Kim said over 53. Melinda said older than 64. <laughs> Good. So, no hope. Yeah. <laughs> or no hope. One of the two. Okay. Okay. So show me what you're doing. There we go. Um, we're just going to... I'm excited about the pearl. And I'm, about, I'm, I'm all about this lately. It's so, very... Oh, Kim was talking about the water, the, the, the water sounds. That makes sense. Oh, it makes her needs to go. Yes. Makes her need. I guess what do you think? What people have said, people have commented on, like, oh, it always sounds so watery in your videos. <laughs> but no one's ever just flat out and said it. Like, I don't need to turn that off. It's too loud. Feel free to talk to us like that. We'll uh, appreciate it. We have fountains like yes. everywhere. So, okay. So, starting with this particular one. Show us. Show us. I'm trying to like we're like running around here. So it's like um, branches. Let me show them the black on that. But actually, I just had a brilliant idea. Did you? Yes. So I'm going to take the handle off of this other door. Oh, no. He's excited. He's about to get his creative on. It is hot in here. It's pretty warm. Okay. Here we are. Back to it. What I should have did is just covered this whole thing with paper. <laughs> <coughs> oh well. Shane laughs, but he knows it's like the most shoe thing ever. It is. Okay, like that. Bam. So, We're ready to stamp. So that's the Annie Sloan mm -hmm. small roller. Okay. And that is mm -hmm. one of the trim pieces in the Bohemia stamp. Hey Melinda, have you gotten yours yet? You I'm I'm pretty sure you should have. Okay, come around. We're gonna go. And okay. furl. Okay, okay. Here we go, everybody. He's gently walking his fingers in so that thing doesn't slide around. Kapow. And boom. And oh, that's I'm not, pretty. I'm not reloading. I'm just going right back on with my roller to smooth it out. She did. She got her uh, stamp set today. She hopes to use it tomorrow. Oh, fun. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. The, this yeah. color, this camera really washes out the color. But believe me, all that's very, very, very yeah. green. She like change positions, if you all can see that. That's a little better. And again, one, this is a boho um, look. It doesn't need to be super crisp 
lined and perfect. In fact, the stamp set itself is very distressed looking. Like, for instance, look at this. This is an actual print of the stamp, right? You see how it's lighter here and this line isn't perfectly straight? It's made to look older. Right. So work with it, run with it. Okay, so I have some random just brushes laying around that I mess around with. I'm gonna do some of those too. Um, I'm gonna be using a bunch of different colors and I'm not gonna use a different roller for every color. So we're gonna be, I'll be figuring it out as I go. So same idea, just you know, brushing on some paint. You know, we could just open a roller refill pack and you could just use one for each yeah, color. You could. It would be handy anyways. Yeah, let's do that. I'll do this color with the brush. Just a lot of everybody might have a little. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. This is the one, remember it got bright as it dried? Mm -hmm. So now he's brushing some more onto the end so he can finish out the pattern. Your hair was in the way. I think that Most was the of these people have never probably seen you without a hat on. Finished it out. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be using these stencils over again. Like, I'm literally just giving them a wipe off. That is how easy it is to get paint off these bad boys. Um, I'll put it in the sink and we have little toothbrushes that we just. that quick, like, pump right out. Super easy to clean. Okay. I like this green and red. What are you doing next? Uh, I'll probably do it orange. Um, Yes, now we're opening up a uh, refill back. I don't know that all of you have ever bought any sewn rollers. They're super handy. We use them almost daily. Here's the roller, and then um, you buy refills for it. Uh, these we use literally forever. They clean very easily, and they're very sturdy, so they can be cleaned a bunch of times. We have, these rollers last, I can't explain how long they last you. But it's, it's a long time. Yeah, the ones at the store are probably the first ones I ever right. gotten opened. Yeah. And those those went to the workshop with Annie Snow. Yeah, and, and these aren't just like I don't know how to explain it. These aren't just like regular rollers. Like I think there's like bearings or something in here that make it roll. They're good. Okay, so we're gonna do some Arl, or are you gonna mix yeah, some? I'm gonna do, I, want to, I want to do my primaries first, so I see what I got, then I'm gonna start mixing. Okay. Uh, I think I want to do this lace. Oh, he's going for the big one, he's going for the lace. I don't think I'm gonna be doing what everybody's expecting me. Gotta be a little bit random, that's kind of. Kim says pink. We just did burgundy. We'll do pink. There will be pink in here somewhere, I promise. Oh, I don't like it. It's pretty bright. Yeah. Yeah, you're not doing what I expected. Why are you starting in the middle? This is craziness. Blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I do kind of feel rebellious. Do you? Oh, wow. That one's bright. Yes. 
and that red's just gonna get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. What does this do? Oh, sorry, y'all. I am pushing buttons. They do all kind. They have all kinds of stuff on here. <laughs> Hey. Let's see your face. Something ridiculous? No, it's like framing out your face. It's kind of cool. Anyway, sorry. Over that. Back to the back to the focus of the video. Okay, so I'm just going to make a different shade of green here. I'm going to use Amsterdam. I need a little bit because I'm not trying to make a dark green. I want to be a little brighter. Teresa said she's so glad you're showing this so she can use hers soon. Yay, Teresa, we're glad to hear. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna kinda nag you about this like art room. Like I think that's like super cool. Kim says I like that centerpiece. It will look very nice with a vertical frame. Oh, that's like a fun minty weird color. I like that. I'm glad you like it. That's what we're using next. So I guess the feature would be Amsterdam Green. Because it Amster won't let me... It's Amsterdam Green and... Oh, well, you won't multiply it in original. No. Amsterdam Green and original, if anybody's curious. Oops. And a little bit of... Oh. <laughs> Let's Jameson's over here living wild. It's fun. Beautiful. And I'm actually gonna use the same color. I'm gonna put it over here. Ter Teresa said that she's still thinking about it, but it will happen. About the whole art room thing. Like, when you like to do this, like, a lot, you know, and you actually have fun with it and you get creative with it, I personally find it's great to have a space that you can create in. Um, it's always ready for you. You just walk in and go. Yeah. And you don't have to pull everything out and do this and do that. You can... If you get bored or something comes up halfway through a project, you can leave it and come back to it. Oh my gosh, like things would never get done. Right? If Can I had imagine? to Yeah, if I had to do it from start to finish, things would never get done. It's just not not how my brain works. And it's not just that, it's not how my in life our, is. In our workroom right now, we have five pieces, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and I think four of them have begun. Yeah, I'm most excited about that gold the gold legs though. I got to finish that when we get back next week. Beautiful. Why are you qu crazy quiet? Because I'm in it. Because you're in it? in it? Okay, well, I have... Facebook is yelling at me. Uh-oh. Are we, are we extending our limits? No, but I have to go check it on the other thing, so I need you to take over. Oh. Okie dokie. Well, give a breakdown of what you're doing cause it can, for new people. Okay, so for anybody who is... Just joining us. I am over here Where you at? making a huge mess. I'm a adjunct deacon Amarillo. I'm excited about the way my uh, stencil is coming out, but I have my um, Bohemia stencil here, and um, I'm just going through the, the different pieces. We did do a video with it last week, um, but we're, do, we're going a completely different direction this time. Um, we're trying to go full on over the top. Boho, you can see that color palette's kind of exciting. And I mean, you could also see it on my hands. Shane talks about wearing gloves. I get paint everywhere. I don't. That's how you know it's working. So yeah, my vision on this is to do all of my drawer fronts 
and making sure that they're all bright and colorful, but they're all completely different. I don't want anything to be super matchy-matchy. I want it to look totally random. Amanda Miller Copper, maybe? <laughs> we were talking about Copper earlier, actually. Yes. We were talking about playing with some Copper and tying it in here. You know what? I bet you could do that with the gilding waxes. Like uh, a metallic stamp? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Why have I never thought of that until now? That's genius. I don't know. Shane's over there doing the logistical stuff for us, waiting for him to get back. I can show you this piece again, though, now that everything's dried. You can see the color wash we did earlier, the first hour of the video. <laughs> Was it really an hour? Yeah, it's 10.07. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go when you are ready. I'm ready right now. Alright, well, I'm turning down the thing because it's like a thousand. It's, it is. It's very hot in here. Shane's hitting the air, so you're going to hear a blow, but. Alright, back to it. Back at it. Here we go. What are we doing now? We're going to go with these. The rosette things? The rosette paisley looking flowery thingies. That's their technical term, if anybody was wondering. Okay, now you Can't guys... wait to try my bright gold. Do it! Yeah, it's fun. I'm telling you. That's what we used on this. Oh, you took them off. That's, That's what, what we does. used on these. That's bright gold, yeah. Um, got a thin, a thin coat of paint on there, and then let it dry, and then go straight over it with your metallic, and don't clear wax over it, and it's good stuff. Very durable. I thought we opened a roller. We did open a roller, but sometimes you just have to live your best life. And sometimes you might not want your entire stamp to be one color. Oh. Sometimes. So, your stamp not being one color <laughs> is living your best life your over best here. Life, yep. Words Again, to remember. I, I feel very Bob Ross. <laughs> I do. I do. This is a happy little flower. We're going to paint it some happy little leaves. And leaves can be red. <laughs> doesn't, that sound like, doesn't, that, doesn't that sound very Bob Ross? Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're lots of fun. People should come apply for jobs. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> if y'all are, if you know anybody who's looking for a job, we're hiring. We want to be open more than two days a week here in Amarillo. And we have been trying. We have hired two people who have just not shown up. So if you, either of you two people are watching, shame on you. You should have at least called. I'm going to say that. Sorry. Had to put that in there. I'll probably regret it later. But no. if no you, regrets. if you are uh, looking, know someone looking for a job, you let us know hours well to begin with it is saturday 12 to 6 sunday 12 to 4 and then it will be friday 12 to 6 as well and then thursday 12 to 6 as well so start off two days push into four days once we get you going I'm going oh you're going oh, you're going it's gotta be other side. It has to be. i love this just like haphazard thing it's very boho and that burgundy did get much deeper. I'm zooming in here. Oh boy. Pressure's on. Are these are these flowers still happy? Happy flowers? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're very happy. Um, it almost it almost it almost reminds me of like tie dye. Um I'll play with them. I think you should grab the the the, 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 the washing try cloth and just, yeah, try it again. Emergency bucket. If we've done all of this, you guys, we're, this is the first time we're renting a rat. Yeah. But you see all of those colors made a pretty gray. And again, this is so e this is easy to come off because it was waxed good underneath it, you know. 
Right, and only, only this new paint's coming off. The other paint's stuck on there with the wax. So we tell people all the time, like, don't be scared, it's not permanent, unless you want it to be. And it's like it never happens. Okay, so we're going for the same thing, but I'm going to use my roller so that it's even. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could have been a little bit of the universe. Can I tell you, that's like my favorite part of these videos, though. Like, it's it's real. Right, we tell people all the time, just wipe it off. Like, it's... Call us. We're call real. Us at midnight panicking. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You wipe it off and you do it again. Yeah, like... But my thing is with these videos, like, that's why I like to do these videos so much. Because they're... We're very real. We don't produce it and everything doesn't come out perfect the very first time we try it like we're right. just like y'all we're just like everybody else just like every normal person it we're real it's sometimes beautiful sometimes it's scary but if it's scary we can fix it and make it beautiful That wasn't a happy mistake? Isn't that what Bob says? It was a very happy mistake. It was a learning lesson, and I had to mess it up so that we could show everybody how easy it was to wipe it off. <laughs> we'll have to show everybody our script. I love how that was pulled off with such grace. Yeah, it's all the script. <laughs> we don't make mistakes. Like, I know this is boho, but that's very Navo to me. Colors, design. The design. The design. Alright. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Happy flowers, scene two. Yeah, happy flowers, scene two. And action. Dun, 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 dun. I'll tell you, the rollers just make it lay flat. The, all the paint goes, goes on evenly with the rollers. So, I know a lot of people have bought that. I know people watching have bought this, these stamps, and are like, seeing me mess up so you don't have to. If you have the rollers, pull them out. <laughs> Definitely pull out the rollers if you, if you got them. Okay, now, so those are happy little flowers. Beautiful. Teresa says she does love how easy it wiped off. Yes, because it was waxed previously. Like, I can't say this enough. If that was not waxed, that would not have come off like that. Like, it wouldn't have... It wouldn't have... Okay, what was it? We had some Christmas pink. Yeah, we need some more of that burgundy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kim, Kim is still watching. I see, I see her face up on the top. Kim, he's making your pink. Well, there's in my hand. That's why I can't find it. I can't... Like, I swear it's zoomed in, but it won't let me zoom back out. Or maybe it wasn't zoomed in. Okay, got my pink. Beautiful. Pure furl. For this kind of a project, this color is hard to be. I gotta keep getting past your head. We're good. I get it. I'm the same with you.
So now what are we okay. doing? Taking my the, the end of my paintbrush, and this my stencils aren't this wide, so I'm just gonna add some dots, and I want my dots to be roughly the same size, so you just keep dipping it in your paint. Don't let it get dried up, or your dots will get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And especially since it's a bohemian style thing, it doesn't have to be perfect. I need one more, one more side. Let's do this. I'm gonna take my single leaf. We have never shown this part of this of this. Yeah, this thing. is just they have, this is just literally a leaf, one leaf. I are you gonna put it in that square? Yeah, I'm thinking leaf. Leaf, leaf. I think you should do it burgundy. Burgundy, okay. That's my opinion. You want to wait and see if anybody else chimes in? What color should he put in that square right there? Out of the colors we've got here, or the colors he's able to make by mixing or light lightening up light lightening them up, sorry. I like that there are areas that don't have paint, looks distressed or aged. It is very distressed like this the stamps themselves are very distressed amanda says orange all right let's let's get a few more comments on here i'm i mean i'm not about i'm not against the orange but we'd have to do like an orange orange can you make some of that red into that aural into that aural and see what happens let me give it a little rinse we always talk about how easy brushes are to rinse i don't know if anybody saw that i just literally stuck that in the bucket and I've mixed a million colors. We're doing, we're trying to make a deeper orange, we decided. Yeah. So we're gonna take some orange and put it over here and we're just gonna put a dab. Smallest amount of burgundy at a time. And we're getting coral that we're getting. Uh... And I'm colorblind, everybody. <laughs> like, on paper, the real deal. I mean, it's definitely a different color than that, but to me, it makes me think of like salmon mousse. Yeah. Not my favorite. I think you should. I mean, I think you should just do burgundy. But Melinda Farmer says orange too. <coughs> I don't want to open another can. I agree. We're gonna do them white, and if we decide to go over with orange, when we have our orange, we will. Kind of like the white as a random pop. We're going to start in the middle because I'm going to try to use the same stamp. Beautiful. So that is my vision. <laughs> I think you have a beautiful vision. On all the fronts of all the drawer fronts. I think you have a, an amazing vision. But on that note, how long? We started at 9. How long it's, have we been on here? We started at 9 and it is 10.20. It's 10.20. So hopefully that gave all of y'all something to... Uh, do, I don't know, I hope it sparks something in you to just let loose and play, like I promise, that's the, that's the most fun way to do anything with chalk paint, is just to play with it. It's, it's never the end unless you want it to be. Um, is there anything you wanted to add, Mr. Hip? No. Thanks for watching, and as always, guys, if you have questions, I know people watch these later at different times, um, let us know, we'll get back to you, even if it's not live on here now. Alright? So on that note, we are out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night, Bye. everybody.